Hello, how you doing? Oh, sorry I've been away for the last couple of days. Work has been pretty flat out. Um, but I got the day off today, so yes, we'll go for a little bit longer. Um, the moment. What is that? Okay, that's fine. Oh, uh, thank you for the follow host three twelve. Uh, that might be a bot. Anyway, thank you. And it's frozen. Wow, that's gotta be a record. Holy shit. Um, b -b 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 where? Yeah, also, also I look like something the cat dragged in today. I've got a bit of a bad hair day going on. Okay, that's fine. Skipping this doesn't really do much. It just, it does freeze it, but it's because it's loading, which is something I had to get used to. Um, let's get out of that. So, we're kind of in the process of getting all the ingredients for Saskia. Uh, oh, did we crash or something? We might have crashed and I got, I faintly remember getting angry. <laughs> um, although I can't super remember that. Um, hmm. Sorry, that's just a KFC receipt. <laughs> I left laying on my desk. Um, okay, so yeah. I guess I must have crashed halfway through something. Sup, fucker. Pray. I need. As you know, I I've yet to be crap. But blood of your royal. Oh, true. But that I need it to. I need it to live. The influ you sound familiar? They s not you know. Oh. We've already listened to all this, so that's why I'm skipping it. All right, wait for events to unfold. I know what events those are, but if you don't, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um. They're very satisfying events, I will say that. Hey, Dread, how you doing? Long time no speak. <laughs> how you been? What you been up to? It's been ages. Yeah, it has. Long, long time. I hope you're, uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, that's not why I didn't even mean to go in there. I meant to go in my journal. Uh, got all these to do too. Long story. Oh, yeah, okay, doing good. I've yeah, I've been busy, very busy. Um, I don't know if it was since last time I saw you, but I am like working flat out now. I don't think I even had a job last time I saw you. Maybe. I don't know yet, but I've been working basically non-stop. So that's been 
fun, <laughs> I guess. Um, Swiss Marigold. I guess we'll go and do that one. I don't really know what order we took these in. Um, but yeah, other than that, getting along, I suppose. Um. Oh, I remember what we did. We got killed by a bunch of dwarves. Or a bunch of Scoia'tael, I should say. No, that's not the... Is that the right way? No. But yeah, how about you? Are, are you still are you still streaming and, and whatnot? I wish to so much. Yeah, so do I. We've been doing... We've been going back through the series again. Um, we finished finished Witcher 1 not that long ago and uh, um, I don't I don't remember this being a particularly long bit of the game so we might be close to finishing this too oh I'm in nowhere near the right spot am I what's to consider is not just any trouble Uh, I go. It's a bit of a freaking ways around, isn't it? Just gonna have to remember to keep saving. Ugh. Let one stray in, and before you know it, the neighborhood's full of them. Yeah, there's no runners there. Oops, put that away. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want to, um, if you want to talk about it, but not on here. I'm more than happy to. That's a long time. Hmm, I don't think that came through. Actually, I noticed I was re-watching some stuff on the streams the other day. I noticed while we're playing Metro, for me it lags um, when I kill stuff, but that doesn't actually come through on the stream, so it's making me wonder how much is actually going through on the, on the streams, like how much lag is going through. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you were able to pop in. My stream schedule is kind of like, can be all over the place now that I'm working so much. Um, but I got the day off today, so we can sort of go a little bit longer than usual. Are you now? Because I'm working, I kind of go from five thirty my time to eight thirty onwards. Oh, good, it's working. Oh yeah, cool. It's, oh, we don't have any talents. Guess I can put some oil on my sword too. You can't even go into the simplest of fights without um, mad preparation. <laughs> oil poisons foes. Hangman's venom is purple. Oh, that's actually not. Not amazing. Um, I guess we'll use that. Have a... yeah, we'll go this one. We'll skip this because I've already had to deal with them. Basically, they want to collect a bounty on my head. isn't going swimmingly, I have to say. Oof. Oh fuck.
How are these so difficult? The humans... Um, well, not humans. But you know what I mean. Salvina. There we go. Search for which is combat to the tree. I am the total opposite. We're playing on um, dark mode, which is the difficulty just below hardcore, and it is kicking my ass pretty much spectacularly. Ah, oh, every time. You fucker. Three several times because it's so terrible. Really? See, I think that kind of um, Witcher 3's combat kind of speaks to me more than this kind. This is a. I wouldn't quite say Dark Soulsy, but it's very much. I don't know, it's just got a very different feel to it than the Witcher 3, that's for sure. I mean, I'm just bad at video games in general, so. <laughs> Oh, I'm using the wrong. That's fine. Yeah, it does. It is a bit of a learning curve, especially if you go straight from game to game with these, which is what I did the first time around. Witcher 3 is so different. Never played any Souls games. I'll be honest, you're not missing out on much. Um, I always feel like I'm in danger whenever I say... Talk smack about the Dark Souls games. But... I don't know. I don't I don't find them very compelling. I've played all three. Uh, on the stream. And it's... Oh... They weren't so good that I'll ever play them again. <laughs> oh, these fucking arrows. Um... I mean, they, they have their, like, compellingness. That's a word. Um, but they're just... I find them so tedious at the end of the day. Like, when I look back, I'm, I'm glad I played them, but also not at the same time. Like, I kind of felt like I was... I was just outside of a club, <laughs> you know, um, having never played them. But now that I've played them, I don't really want to be in that club. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the story, I felt, find the story of Dark Souls and the lore extremely lackluster. Which is probably going to piss some people off. And always does when you and other people say like, oh, this is trash. People tend to try and murder them. But it's just so impenetrable. If you want to know the actual story of the game, you have to go and watch about a thousand videos just to get a basic grasp on it because it's so just broad and hard to find in game. And then uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I just. I play games for the story and it just doesn't it doesn't really hold up from that point. We need to take him alive. But the combat is good, so I yeah. see even that's not strictly true. I don't even know if I like combat that much. I am so. So I got each passing area worse and worse. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes too. I feel like as a kid you've got so much spare time to Careful. to play he them and um, I don't know, hone your skills maybe, but when you when you get into the adult years where you've got a, there's so much other stuff you have to be doing that games usually fall by the wayside unless you're one of the lucky few where it is your actual job. Um, and yeah, it just gets worse and worse.
Though I have, um, I've always been bad at games, <laughs> so it doesn't really, doesn't really track with me. Um, like I said, I, pl I play the ga games for the story, not for the, the skill that I have in them. <laughs> Go to the... Okay, I... What the... Oh, someone's being attacked by something. Oh. How do you... How do I block? Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. I sort of feel like as... I don't know, what games... See, I've never been good at games. Like, you know how some people are super good at COD and fucking whatever. I don't know, pick games, Civ. Anyway, whatever. I've never really been good enough at those games to notice much of a decline. But n new games particularly usually take me a while to get my head around. Though it does sound like I'm... Talking like I'm 80 years old, but still feel that way sometimes. So there's Axel. Why? That doesn't just does not work. I'll make mix made of your oars. Of me what? Of me oars? Well, well, well. Buy me dinner first, and then we'll see. I kind of feel like Geralt. Eh, no, he doesn't, does he? He's very much swinging for the one team. I'll make mitts made of your oars. <laughs> That's a strange accent. I don't really know if I can take four of these knights. Especially with shields. I'll make mix made of your arse. Is that all he's gonna say this entire time? I'll make mix made of your arse. Oh shit. Uh these are human, so I can use my oil, can't I? Just lube up my sword real quick. Hangman's Venom, there we go. Hey Mr. Gunny, how you doing? I'll make bitch made of your arse! Oh god, I need to kill this guy just to shut him up. Uh, yeah, welcome to the stream. Uh... Yeah, that is that is exactly how I feel, Dread. That's, like, my thing to a point. Oh, thanks for the host, uh, Mr. Gunny. Appreciate it, thanks. Um, yeah, that's exactly how I feel on, on the Dark Souls story. I feel like... Having nuance in your story where it's not super well explained and you have to kind of do your own digging, that's that's fine. I even, I like that sort of thing. But when the entire story is so hard to follow, even with, you know, uh, the thousands of videos of your that are on the Dark Souls lore. But that's not, not just an option or like a, a little extra to, to do that you have to do to go and watch that stuff if you want to understand the story at all that's that's a big whiff in uh in my my thinking i'll make mix made of your arse he does yes i mean i can't blame him Geralt probably has well he definitely has a spectacular booty there we go fuck you what a pain in the ass that was um. 
Ooh, Kedweni Black Sword. That could be cool. I'm not going to use it because. Oh, it's better. Mm. I actually, I have to, I have to use this stuff, otherwise I lose um, the set bonus, and that means my health steadily drains as we go, so I, uh, we'll have to start working towards another set, I think. I'm carrying too much weight. Safe to say me. <laughs> Indeed, it was I who made uh, the booty mints. Can I get rid of? I don't remember the 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 white being such a pain in the ass, but kid when you sword. I guess I can't really pick up anything then, can I? I'm gonna save that. Where am I going? I kind of thought this was going to be just outside of town. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, you fuck. He shot me. Oh, let's see how it is. Wonder how many more will turn up. That was a lot. That was a lot of those things. Bloody hell. I have to be careful here because I think we can desecrate these tombs. Uh, I mean, not on purpose. <laughs> I don't particularly want to do that. Um, although, we do tend to do that a lot, don't we? Seen this time, I think I did. <laughs> yeah, there've been. Uh, we've seen quite a few of those statues. There's one, um, the Lord's room we just walked out of before has one right outside the front door. Oh, wombo combo. I'm actually pretty. I'm pretty excited for the um, the remaster of the third game. We're going to be playing the third game again um, after I finish this one. So we're going to do new game plus and do it on the max difficulty, which I haven't done before. So that's, that should be fun. Yeah, it's coming out uh, next year sometime, I think. Seven. Okay. Uh. Uh, yeah, sometime early next year. Possibly. Um, and if you own all the stuff already, you get it for free, which I think is very, very good. <laughs> uh, I like it when they do that. Makes it a bit more sort of palatable when they do remasters and stuff. Yeah, so I don't know what I don't know what they're changing, but um, or like what exactly the remaster entails. It's gonna have like ray tracing or like graphicsy stuff, which I don't really care about. But when we do our next playthrough, we're gonna be playing with some mods, which should be good. Um, actually, when does it? I think January or February. I think was the... Oh, really? Witcher Tree Remaster release date. A late 2021. Oh, so it might be towards the end of the year. That could be cool. Well, maybe we it might even arrive before we get to our 
out playthrough. That'd be cool. I can't really be picking too much stuff up. I don't have enough space. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. This corpse is okay. decomposed almost completely. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. Yeah, so I'm basically going around and just disturbing all these tombs. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. All right, Geralt. It's fine. I do f find myself missing the, um, like, investigations, I guess you'd call them, from the third one, too. I quite like those bits, where you kind of just find a body, um, follow the tracks, you know, dig around in the intestines a little bit, see what's missing. It was always good. Always here. Yeah, this is, um... So the other bit, it's literally... Oh, I can't change it. But on the map, they're two different spots. And this is the place the, uh, the quest giver tells you not to go. Because you'll be disturbing their ancestors and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah. I want to cover this one too. Don't hit me. Shit, you stink. It's not really- I don't think this is an important quest, I think this is just like a dinky side quest. Tin no. Silver ore. I do need a little bit of silver ore, so we'll take that. Oh, I should examine them, hey. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. This corpse yeah, okay. is decomposed <laughs> almost completely. I, can't remember. I know when I f the very first time I played it I skipped a lot that was just due to me being like a dumb kid um actually no I don't uh, I was pretty young when I did play this but sometimes if I get into a rush I will just skip stuff uh, on purpose which isn't I don't really like doing but if I'm getting tired of a game I usually will But in saying that, even some of my favorite games that I've played a hundred times over, I still find stuff I haven't done. I'm not so meticulous that I have to do everything on the first time, on the first playthrough. Oh, cool. I'm sick of these frickin' wraiths. There we go, jeez. Not even close? No, neither am I. If I, well, if I really like a game, and I mean really like it, I will 100% it. Um, <laughs> so I think I've 100 percented not like achievements included, I don't really do achievements because I, I just, I don't care about them that much. I've 100 percented Shadow of War, um, <laughs> Lego Star Wars, Force Awakens I think, um, Actually, that's one, that's one exception. I will almost 100% every LEGO game I play. And I've played quite a few of them. So, that's like a weird exception to that, um, to that rule. Where do I want to go? Do I want to... i got to uncover these things, obviously. There's also that way, this place back here. Uh, th actually, the one game I've... Properly 100% achievements included, um, and this is the only game ever. I've 100% of the achievements is Darkness 2, which is a game I love. 
quite a lot and I don't really know why but um yeah it's the only game I've ever done it to and I played that game that game's only about 10 hours ish give or take and I've finished it probably like 10 times <laughs> it's a fucking great game it might, even, it might not even be 10 hours it might be less than that might be 6 good game Jesus, and this just leads further in. Um, but save it, I guess. Then there's people who are crazy and will uh, hundred percent games like Skyrim. Which, I mean, kudos, really. But I haven't got time for that. <laughs> Actually, there's a channel on YouTube that I watch every so often called The Completionist. And it's kind of like a... Um, this corpse is decomposed almost it's a pretty satisfying thing to watch someone else go through this the hell of 100%ing achievements and all and everything um, of a game. And not have to do it yourself. I guess uh, if you're familiar, well, hey, even if you're not, he's a hundred percent in the Dark Souls games. So many others, hundreds and hundreds of games he's done. It. His whole channel is just that. Um, he does a good job. I don't. No, I don't either. I if if achievements give you an in-game reward I will because I like that kind of thing being rewarded for my time but if there are achievements that just up my gamer score or whatever I lose interest immediately <laughs> just completely they don't interest me in the slightest like oh you get a thousand gamer score and what does that gamer score give me uh Nothing. Oh, okay. Um, that thanks. Jeez, that count me out. This corpse is decomposed okay. almost completely. I am uncovering them because I kind of want to see if they've got any more cool shit. But yeah, see, great minds think alike. Dread. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I've never been one for bragging rights. Seems like a this just seems dumb. Like oh, I can, I I beat this this boss in ten seconds. It only took me forty five hours of grinding and stuff. Like oh, was it worth it? The answer is almost always no. But hey, I mean, if it makes you feel proud, then Who good job. Who are you, and oh, what do you seek? Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy. Handsome <laughs> and color bearer of the Dun Banner. The best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. Um... Is yeah, I mean, but you gotta have that, like, duality, right? One that can't be bothered and one that can. <laughs> well, that's kind of satisfying to watch someone else do it. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Vergen. The Battle of Brenna. <laughs> the Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. Natalis leading to Maria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? <laughs> You're mistaken. The Redanian regiments were on the left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Perhaps you speak <laughs> the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? 
Oh, shit. Um... He told us. Someone told us. Uh, I'm gonna cheat and look it up, because I don't want to fight this guy. Wow. Uh, her name was Co oh, Cohorn. Menno Cohorn. I am beginning hey, to believe yeah. ye. <laughs> Menno Cohorn. The repulsive oh. head hound of the Nilfgaardian pack, but a great <laughs> commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? No, he's dead. Your memory has suffered after death. Cohorn perished at Brenna. You are vigilant. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. It was so long ago I may have forgotten you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bergen is another matter. I can't answer for the state of your memory. You are right. Memory often fails us after death. I cringe to admit I've forgotten who commanded the armies during the Battle of Bergen. Perhaps the most important day of my life. I'm the last. Be so good as to remind me. Uh, Van Griff and Selkirk. Seltkirk. Seltkirk led Edern. Van der Grift led us. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle, or that their mages did. I got, I've got the yet? wiki open. <laughs> yet, but I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Oh, pick a horn. No, that's not on them. A priest. Bigger horn. What the fuck? Oh. Bigger horn took me prisoner. Most of the Dun died. The survivors withdrew south. The fires blocked our way back to our lines and we fell into Bigger horn's trap. I know, the cowardly bastard. <laughs> you have proven that you served in the Dun. Hey! May I take the standard? Why do you desire it so? It will help me lift a curse. Curses are of no import to me. This one should be. It has stopped King Henzel's army from advancing. The unicorn has returned. He stands at Vergen's gates. With your help, he'll avenge the Dun Banner. The standard lies in the sarcophagus. The real test of likeness. <laughs> also find the sword of Colonel Gondor. Now it is yours. Thank you. Ooh. Where have you left your mount? There are no horses here. True. I would gladly drink with a brother from Brenna. But I am an unfettered soul. Strong drink means nothing. Tastes of nothing. Perhaps I miss that most in death. Guard the standard. I grasped it firmly even as they cut me down. Jeez, they do waffle on a bit in here, don't they? Um, I am Team Yennefer. All the way. I mean, except in this game where she's not even in it. <laughs> So he lies in the sarcophagus. Oh, the sword lies in the sarcophagus. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. What did I just take? No, are you team Triss? That's it. Get out of my chat. <laughs> no differences of opinion here. Bam. Triss all the way. I mean, that's fair. I like Triss. Um, I just like Yennefer more. <laughs> Sword of the Dun Banner. Oh, I'm carrying too much shit. Again. Uh, I don't want to drop the swords because they're unique. I like unique stuff. Maybe is there some...
I have 38 iron ore. We probably don't need that many. We'll drop uh, 10 of them. I just, I find it so hard not to go for Yennefer in, in the third one. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. Can I get to this one? I can. Yeah, I think that's why I kind of don't really think that the second and first games are that relevant you don't have to play them and it almost kind of feels like they don't want you to <laughs> um because nothing really i mean there's a few decisions that carry over this corpse is decomposed almost completely but other than that i i can't really see a reason to play it uh to play the first two games and then the third i do it because i like to have the full full story and it sh does help obviously but it very much feels like it's such a massive game the third one that they've just kind of pumped all the stuff they needed into that one uh that's how i feel anyway it probably also helps if you've read the books and all that stuff. <laughs> you get more of a feel for Yennefer and Geralt's relationship. Still need to read them. I read, I've read about a quarter of, um... Is it The Last Wish? I think it's The Last Wish. In your read stack? Yeah. I have one of those. I have a bad habit of buying books and being like, oh yeah, sure, I'll read them. I'll get to that eventually. And that's like, and then it's like five years later. I still haven't read it. Uh, I guess it doesn't really, well, doesn't really matter which one I'm uncovering. What the? Absorbs all damage. My ass. It's annoying. Hmm. I found it alright. Um, I bought it on sale a long time ago. And, um... It takes a lot, like it didn't really, I enjoyed it, but it takes, it's very easy for me to get distracted while I'm reading and just go into like a game or a movie, TV shows at once. Um, I would say the writing style is good. I didn't find any problems with it. Uh, although I don't really have enough of a draw to kind of relate it to something, but I find it found it fine. This corpse is oh, decomposed almost so it's, completely. So I'll uncover all of them, but I'm guessing it's only the one. Then again, for someone who reads a lot, it might be different. It's hard to tell. I should probably put some spectoral on my sword so I don't die. Oh, you're still alive. Get out of here. I will say, actually, I started reading Lord of the Rings recently. And I love it. I do, I really quite like, enjoy it. But Tolkien was definitely a fan of run-on sentences. Holy shit. There's a couple, se a couple parts of that book, I've only about a quarter of the way through, where I've had to take a breath mid-sentence and keep going. 
Yeah, um, hopefully I'll have a bit more of a reliable schedule soon, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you uh, see a bit more. I'm always I'm always got my phone on me, so if you want to chat on like Discord and stuff, I um, I'll see it usually anyway. But yeah, well, thanks for popping in. It's good to see you again. We'll catch you later, hopefully. Oh. Ooh. This corpse is fresh. Someone brought it here recently. All right. Sounds good. All right. Um. Yeah. Enjoy. Oh, here we go. A little investigation. Um. Yeah. Enjoy uh, the rest of your day, Tread. Me. It's clothing close. ripped in many places. Oh. Mm. It... Traces of sulfur. He's got a <laughs> bunch of hair in his hand. Interesting. The head's in far better condition than the rest of the body. Dark rings around the eyes, like an anemic. Just a few delicate bites on his neck. Vampire! He's grasping a few long hairs in his hand. The forearms are cut up pretty badly as if he had to defend himself. Oh, there's something, something sticking out of the cut. A metal splinter. Interesting. Uh. fingernail marks all over his back <laughs> at least he had some fun before he died <laughs> mm, a book your body sizzled beneath my gentle caress sounds like master dandelion these wounds they're ripped open whatever attacked him was ferocious hmm he was young just like the others all the clues seem to indicate a succubus. Hey. On the other hand, there's a metal fragment in the wound. This corpse. Oh, so you're going to examine it again? I'm good. <laughs> uh, talk to Dan Dandelion about the Tome of Poetry. Alright, so. I guess that's all we need to do here. I tell you what I miss most of all is the freaking sprint button. Oof. Is there anything else I need to do while I'm out here, maybe? What other quests do I have? Harpy contracts, search for Letho's trails, returning memories, talk to Cecil Burden. Um, oh, where's Triss? Very far away. Bloody hell. Um, maybe not that one. Okay, that's not for here. I think that's pretty much... No. no. Alright, that's fine. That's pretty much all on this side. I do kind of want to head over to explore, but on the other hand I don't, because we can't really fast travel or anything like that. That's kind of spooky.
Hopefully we don't get in trouble for desecrating literally every grave in that place. We didn't really leave one covered up, did we? I'm roping you guys into this too, because if I'm going to jail, <laughs> or I guess we wouldn't go to jail here, would we? We'd be hung. Hanged? Whatever. <laughs> Nothing quite like a group hanging. Yikes. Not the worst thing that would have happened to someone. Or is going to happen to someone. Oh, hello. Greetings, Gwynblade. Whoa. Oh, he's taking off his eye patch. That's what it. What could Philippa want? I didn't Why realize his eye was damaged. Virgin being free, independent. Like all sorceresses, she likes to dabble in politics. Not one of them would hesitate to sacrifice another life if it furthered their goals. Quite a one-sided opinion. All, none. Life's rather colorful. It's not all black and white. Hmm. Hmm. Shades of gray, I think. I have no illusions about mages. You know the fate which the Queen of the Valley of Flowers reserved for the Alvan youth. Enid Anglina, known also as Francesca Finderbear, another sorceress. In exchange for the creation of an Alvan kingdom in Dolblathana, she sent the Squirtal to be butchered while attacking Nilfgaard's foes from the rear. She had a chance to call it off. She could have opposed the Emperor of Nilfgaard and summoned the Squirrels to defend the Valley of Flowers. Why didn't she? In the name of a higher purpose. It's what the Emperor wanted. That's why we became bandits after the war. That's why elves are dying, are young murdered by the likes of Roach. And that's why I cannot trust Philippa Eilhart. To be fair, the Scoriatel don't really have much of a reason to trust anyone. And on top of that, the sorceresses and sorcerers are usually bastards. <laughs> so... Roach could be on the other side of the fog. In that case, I'll finally get him. I came close in Flotsam. Been after him for a while? Ever since he became leader of the Blue Stripes. During his first mission as commander, he ambushed one of my units, cut it down to the last elf. Surprised me for the first and last time. I've been more cautious since then. Oh. So it's a personal matter. Vengeance, a theme straight out of Dandelion's ballads. The safety of the Squirtel demands his death. Of the commanders first appointed to such units, he's the only one still alive. I notice there's no Temerian emblem in your collection. We should not claim something's done when it is not. You do realize that a dozen others will replace him when he's gone. Possibly dirtier foes, possibly worse. Better to have a known enemy, you say? That doesn't apply to Vernon. A more determined demon has never walked upon this earth. Hmm. The longer he is active, the better he gets. I must put an end to it. Tell me about this Dwan for whom the Scoia'tael are ready to do battle. Saskia? She's no Dwan. Certainly not like the others. You've seen her. I doubt I need to explain. She's fighting for a Pontar Valley for dwarves, elves, and humans alike. I thought you despised humans. I may only be a warrior, but I'm no fool. This is the best we can hope for now, and it's better than the Valley of Flowers. Mm. You think you can repel Hensel's army? No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> the fortifications and dwarven devices are simply not enough to hold off the Kedwenis. They are just too many. What do you plan to do? You'll see. One thing I can promise. I won't break You'll any see. pledge I've made. That's ominous. I once met another Scoia'tael leader. Yavin. I knew him. He had beautiful dreams and desperately wanted me to share them. Asked the same of you, I heard. You know a lot about me. I try to know as much as I can about everyone. I helped him. I found his reasons just. B 
because they are, but they're equally unrealistic. Yavin saw combat and killing as poetry, whereas war is prose with no place for beauty. Mm. How is it that we're on the same side today? Things change. Today I have different goals and different allies. Have you ever been to the Valley of Flowers? Dulblathana is nothing more than a vassal state of the Nilfgaardian Emperor. They call it the land of free elves, but the Scoia'tael are not welcome. It's another in a string of painful lessons. But a free Pontar Valley could change that. It's been five years since the kingdom was established in Dolblathana. Over 2,000 elves have settled there. Do you know how many children they've produced? A dozen or so. It's no longer the Valley of Flowers. It's the Valley of Sterile Elders. I'd love to see you tell Francesca that. <laughs> Yikes. Anything new about Letho? No, but I wager he's somewhere on the other side of the fog. I can feel it. You haven't had a chance to explain yourself, your alliance with Letho. This is a good time. I suppose I owe it to you, Geralt. I don't know who they are exactly, nor who they're working for. I met Letho two months ago. He had escaped his pursuers in Edirne, found me, and suggested we trade services. Our scouts and forest hideaways in exchange for the heads of Foltest and Hensel. A good offer to begin with that only became better when we revealed only part of our secrets. It then turned out that Letho was not alone. Serret and Orcs were meant to kill Hensel. My warriors were to help them. As you know, this never came to pass. Hmm. Right. God, there's too many little nooks and crannies in this place. Uh, I'm guessing he'll be at the pub. Or the inn, sorry. It's one good thing about knowing where they always are. Or having characters that kind of stay still. I wouldn't mind going and finding Triss next, too. Don't, I mean, Look, once this is done. You let one human in and in no time you've got a swarm. Slug in between... I found a volume of your poetry. My love poems! Some bastard stole them recently. Probably wanted to show off to a young lass smelling of sheepskins. I really miss this book. It was like being in a brothel with no balls. <laughs> I owe you one, Geralt. Though I don't know quite how I'll repay you. No, actually, I do know. Up for a shot of vodka? It's on me. I've got a better idea. Beer? That's fine. All the same to me. I need you to do me a favor. Name it. For this, I'd give you my chastity. If I still had it. <laughs> I wouldn't be interested. Don't tell me you need another poem for a noon wraith. Mm. Worse. Please, Geralt, don't get me involved in another messy monster matter. Too bad. I'm an artist, not... That's precisely who I need to lure a succubus. Are you crazy? You want to see a hoofed hag ride me to death? On the other hand, we all have to die of something. <laughs> Go to the burned down village after dark and wait for me there. Meet <laughs> Denline and Ben Yeah. Okay. Cool. Greetings. I don't remember this. I remember going to the tomb, but I don't remember fighting a succubus. Succubi? No, succubus. What's the plural of succubus? Don't <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh. 
Guess we'll keep an eye out for harpy nests and stuff. Oh. Oh, the burned village is like much closer. Can we go? I can't wait to meet this monstrous beauty. Her beauty's killed several men. Now you tell me. Like my friend Dandelion says, we all have to die of something. Mm. I'll have my eye on you at all times. So will she. Don't let her kiss you. I don't usually deny women foreplay, but I'll do my best. Let's do this. Shut up, Dandelion. <clears throat> well, well, how should we begin? If you wish, my love, at my side to repose. My heart would inquire of your hands, pale and fine, if they'd grasp it gently to hold like a rose. Or, or treat it as a morsel upon which to dine. No, that didn't come out right. Hmm. If our bodies could a song compose, We'd admire our virtues, me yours, and you mine. I could pet your cheeks. You might twiddle my nose. Or, or treat it as a morsel upon which to dine. No? Okay. If our... We'd admire... I could... Or grasp me elsewhere and leave me satisfied. No? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, two sec. We'll get back to this riveting love poem in a second. If you wish, my... We'd admire... I could pet your cheek. Or, no. Okay. If you wish, my heart would inquire if they'd grasp... Or grasp me elsewhere and leave me satisfied. No, that didn't come out right. What do you... <laughs> I give up. If you wish, my love, at my side, my heart would inquire if they'd grasp or, or treat it as a morsel upon which to dine. No? What do you want from me? <laughs> if our bodies could a song compose, my heart would inquire if... or no. If you wish, we'd admire... I could pet you. Or no. If you wish, my love, at my heart would inquire if they'd grasp it gently to hold like a rose. Or gra- no? If- If you- my, If- If- No? 
If I... The old... Fuck. Who are you? Finally. Gorgeous one. I'm a poet, milady. I've come to praise your unearthly beauty, if you'll do me the honor of revealing your full self. Indeed. I shall reveal to you all my splendors. Prepare more than your eyes. I am a feast for all the senses. Come with me for the adventure of your life. Fair <laughs> I should get Geralt. On the other hand, I've never plowed a succubus. I am so unsatisfied. <laughs> Lovers who compose poems praising my virtues. <sighs> Delightful. But I've never had a true poet perform for me. It's weird when you get to play as other characters. Especially the ones that don't fight. Fucking idiot actually went in. I got him into this mess. I'd better get the fool out. <laughs> Very rude. Full on just call him a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, he doesn't look like he's in danger. <laughs> I don't remember inviting you, Geralt of Rivia. Let Dandelion go. <laughs> you mean you won't join us? He's come to no harm. On the contrary, he seems very happy. Like all the other men you murdered? I've murdered no one. All who followed me experienced unearthly pleasures. You devour their energy like a swine gobbles spuds. I need their vital energies. I have no use for corpses. What will you do with Dandelion? I shall show you my intentions are pure. I'll release him when he wakes. Well, um, are you, again, using a bit of meta knowledge, <laughs> the succubus are usually pretty chill, right? In The Witcher 3, there's one that's, she only attacks someone after they attacked her. So they're more into self-defense than outright murdering people. So if it wasn't you, who killed those young men? I can seduce anyone and hold them spellbound for as long as I wish. Unfortunately, one fool fell madly in love with me. Unable to accept my nature, he's killing my lovers. Who is this lover of yours? A beautiful elf named Elias. He asked me to investigate the murders. His way of throwing you off his scent. Luckily, you're no fool. <laughs> the very reason I think you're trying to throw me off your scent. Did he show you the victim's bodies? He told me they were buried. <laughs> By him. Yet he massacred the corpses first to make it seem as if beasts had attacked the poor souls. I'm content to have you looking into the matter. Just be sure to see it through. I'll talk to him. Then I'll come back. I hope we can seal our friendship then. Wow. Um. Although she is kind of holding Dandelion um, hostage. Seeing as how she won't let him go until he wakes up. Why did I even need that? Why did I even bother? It's a relatively pretty game too, like this is kind of bare, but it's got its charms. 
Oh, oh yeah, maybe we should go and drop some stuff off at the inn. Um, because I am carrying a lot of shit. We won't talk to him just yet. Look, another one. I don't really want to put crafting materials away, no though, because then I'll forget about them. <laughs> And uh, get the shits when I try and craft something, but I don't know if I have an option. We kind of have we have a lot of stuff, and it's weighing us down pretty bad. So that's all fine. Um. Alchemical stuff doesn't weigh anything. Jesus. Uh, how about we just we'll just halve everything. That'll do. We don't need that much crafting stuff at the moment. And if we need more, we'll just come back. Just have to remember. Um. Don't really need that much timber. Barely weighs anything. Um, you can sell that. All right, so that's given us a decent amount of space. Now we'll go and talk to that guy. I might. How much money we got? Not a lot. Never mind. <laughs> Is Cecil here, Sultan? Um, that's a little strange. <laughs> What's Dandelion doing here? Oh, ouch! It's really fucking hot in here. I found the succubus. Did you kill her? She claims you're the murderer. You were supposed to kill the monster, not chat with it. I know what I'm supposed to do. I don't think so, not if you believed her. You lied to me. You knew a succubus had made its lair in the burned down village. I did. I thought you'd refuse to help me if I told you. You're right. I don't help murderers. That is pure nonsense. I killed no one. Liar. You fell in love with her and murdered your competitors. Succubi aren't exactly the most faithful partners. True, I love her, but the rest is hogwash. If I'd killed the succubus, no more men would have perished and you'd have gotten away with it. You don't understand. She manipulated me like she's manipulating you. Yorvith will learn of this. You'll hang for your crimes. You're mad. I'm innocent. Use Elias in your presence. Or kill the Don't succubus. Try anything. I've saved it, so if we if we doink this up then I'll just reload. <laughs> The leader, oh. clad like a soldier. Greetings. Your Scoyatel, Elias, is murdering people from Vergen. Any proof? Elias is one of my best warriors. I found a splinter from a blade in one of the bodies. Compare it to Elias's weapons. I'll see to it. Elias must have learned that I know the truth about his madness. He's fled the city. The breast, ah, <sighs> a maiden I saw. Couldn't we have just compared weapons? Though, do or I guess I don't really know what weapon he uses, but do weapons usually splinter off like that? Maybe like an axe would, though. 
can't imagine an elf using an axe. I'll not be put down like some dog. Fight! Hmm? Wait a minute. <laughs> There's a dead dwarf there. <laughs> oh jeez, that's a lot of blood. Fucker. Oh. So annoying. <laughs> really? I didn't save it because I didn't think it would be attacked, but obviously I should have known better. Fuck's sake. Cosplayers. <laughs> what do you get got against cosplayers? Jeez. Nothing to it. The leader. Greeting. Yeah, I have a headache that could drop a fucking horse at the moment. Oof. Surprised it's not coming through on the freaking microphone. Boop boom. So my head my head feels like a heartbeat. That's fine, right? It's not a tumor or anything. It's not a tumor. Oh, oh, oh. That's how it goes, right? That's how Arnold Arnold talks. Be put down like some dog. Fight! Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, I have to say. Jeez. He hits a lot harder than I do. The more you die too, the more it f like the longer it takes <laughs> to load. Very annoying. I will grab the the thing. Um There we go. Circle of strength, that'll help a bit. There we go, that'll do. I'll not be put down like some dog. Fight! It's a very big difficulty. Like, this game is not super easy. On normal. It's like a, a good difficulty. Enough challenge, blah blah blah. But the it's leagues... What, whatever this one's called, dark or whatever is leagues in front of that. Just killing a single person is like a pain. Damn it. 
Granted, he's probably... Uh, he's, I guess you wouldn't call it boss level. Still. Wow, they didn't drop anything. I mean, there was a dead dwarf over here, wasn't there? Yeah. No, go away. Oh, peace. Really? Oh, man. I think my control is on the out. Uh Geralt keeps... I have to like wiggle it a lot to get him to move. Oh, that's sad. I've had this controller for ages. I don't want to break or replace it. I'm pleased you put an end to that fool's torment. You'll be blissfully rewarded. Disrobe and relax. As tempting as others might find you, I think I'll pass. On the sex, of course. <laughs> Got anything else for me? Oh, what a shame. But it will be as you wish. In the box by the bed, I left you a small gift. Something to remember me by. Goodbye, <sighs> Witcher. That's a nice little setup she's got here, though. Look at all this fancy stuff. Box by the bed. Thyssen's, Thyssen's armor, or Thyssen's armor, whatever. Got anything else in here? Nope. Is that any good? It's alright. Ours is better though. Weighs a ton, jeez. Uh, I guess we'll level up. Maybe meditate till the morning so I don't have to fight anymore. Uh... Wraiths. When poison unlocks berserk mode, activated once adrenaline bar is completely charged. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't, do we even have an adrenaline bar at the moment? Hmm. Just ups my vitality. What do I want to put it into? I guess we'll do the axing. I mean, I use that more than anything else, really. I was going to meditate. So. Alright. Uh, I will be back. I think I'm just going to go make myself another coffee. And then we'll keep going. Like I said, we've got time tonight. So, and chill. Don't have to rush nothing. Uh, which is a nice change. So, yeah, I'll be back in like a couple minutes.
Oh man, my hair is just a fucking mess today. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, just, just pretend it's not as crazy as it is. This is. This. <laughs> All right, that's done. Um, we're kind of on our way out to s anyway, so we'll go and see if we can find Triss. We're going the right way. Oh, I am. Okay. Ah, I was not. Greetings, Vatgern. I'm glad to see you again. Again? Flotsam? The fire? Funny how these things work. I'll never forget that. Oh, unimportant. Needless to say, I'm deeply indebted. Hmm. Sorry. No need to be. But I feel I should pay you back somehow. I've started anew here, you know. That always builds confidence. Sure I can't tempt you with something? Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? It is if you want it to be. We elves might seem strange by your standards. You saved my life. A bit of joy as recompense is not too much to Oh my god. That's not necessary. As you wish. Though you realize I'll not offer again. Right. So I think a l some of this might have been changed because this was actually banned in Australia. Um, for the fact that there was like a lot of these quests or some of these quests had sex as a reward. And obviously that's a little bit kind of icky. So, I think they changed a lot of it, or at least cancelled out the options. Uh, yeah. So, it got censored, basically. Um So she doesn't really sell much. That's fine. Take care of yourself. Um, wonder why she's out here though. Why is she not in the city? Is there just not enough room for her? <laughs> Can't steal anything either. All right, never mind. It's getting very warm in here. Oof. So that doesn't really lead anywhere. Um, oh, ouch. Can't really talk to any of these ones. Though I guess they're just guarding the entrance. Oh no. Do I have to go through the mist? No. Oh no. It's back up this way. What? What? There's a house over there. The old quarry. Witcher? 
man not Did wearing I hear any pants. you mention a job? Indeed. One very much in your line. I know a collector in Vengerberg. He pays well for all kinds of monster-related curios. Ericus Venom? Necker Hearts? Sounds doable. Harpy Feathers. Uh-huh. Why Feathers? I never asked. Got the order and that's that. Interested? What kind of coin are we talking about? Why don't we do a test? Bring me a bundle of fine feathers, for which I'll pay you, and if we're both satisfied, we'll figure things out. He's gonna want more than a bundle? That'll mean a lot of traipsing around. A few more, yes. So? I'll keep my eyes open, but no promises. I've got more important things to deal with. Right. Twelve harpy feathers. Right. Um, that'll be something, like he said, we're just going to be looking out for because, Jesus. Fucking tedious much. There better not be a redhead in that cauldron. Who there? A witcher. Bumpkins wisher sends to me kill. So be. Kill. Quick. No pain. First tell me, where's the woman you kidnapped? Kidnap none! Aye, troll! A dwarf saw you carrying a human woman. Me stupid. Sick she. Me carry. Her help. Feed, pet, but she run go. Mrs. First run go. Redhead then. All gone. Soup only stay. <laughs> What's in the pot? Soup. Elf and onion. Good. One try? Um. I don't really care for onions. Stupid wisher. <laughs> Elf, wisher. Good taste with I onion. love the trolls. Ugh. Tomato like. Where did you get the elves? Misses bring from Garley's. Like I bring redhead. The redhead's in the soup too? No. Redhead, run, go. Tell me, troll, what happened here? Me in Garley's. Misses in Garley's. Bones found. Nice to know. Then wham! Humis from Skyfall! You're a lying troll. People don't fall from the sky. Troll, true tell! Flash crack! Two humis drop where Dumble ship. Humi man, big as troll. And woman. I go see! Was the man bald? Did he have a scar? <laughs> Wish a man likes man. <laughs> see, I from far. <laughs> Bold, yes. Scar, no see. Run, he go to gullies. Leave redhead Humi. Down. See, I go. Redhead grown. Her pain. Closer, I creep. Run, she not go. Let her grow. Take me, Humi, woman. Go home. Missus angry. Consume me wench thin bones. Hungry, missus. Yap and yap. Then run go own for food. Give water, redhead humi. Leaves cover leg. Humi redhead nice. Pet she <laughs> when sleeps. Redhead have kerchief. Nice to sniff. Mrs. Come back. Elves in hand. Drop, thin wench. Eat it, she call. Mrs. Yap. Rag give. Troll say not. Nice to feel. Stench, troll like. Mrs. Wow. Say she or me. Troll think. Nice, redhead. Nice rag stench. Troll, Mrs. Tell. 
Mrs. Troll with log beat and run go. What happened to the redhead? Redhead, wrong pain. Redhead stay. Do you still have the redhead's bandana? No, Mrs. Take away. Old bug leave elves, frag, steal, and run go. Where did she go, your <laughs> wife? Gullies, Mrs. Gullies like. Gullies, me like. Why don't I look for her? Wish your missus no kill. Good old bug. Little batty. I won't hurt your woman. <laughs> missus tell come back. Be long. Be terrible. Fine. I'll tell your mate to come back. Missus have. Missus good. She up give. As soon as she back. Right. Okay, I have to go and fix a troll's relationship. This is a little weird. <laughs> I don't quite, I didn't remember this bit, but. Oh, fucking harpies. Wonder how many more will turn up. So we have to keep an eye out for the nests to, I guess we blow them up a bit like the other nests from um, Plotsam. What the hell, that's a lot of stuff. So we need 12 feathers, uh, which... We've got a few then, not quite 12, but... Was there like a nest here somewhere, or... I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what a harpy's nest looks like. Ooh, laggy. I know this is the opposite way, I just want to see what's down here. So ship. With a chest. Journal from the Elatan. Find the treasure beneath Loch Moine when you have a chance. Okay. Oh, I can't go this way yet, can I? Oh, shit. shit you. Yeah. 432 damage. Jesus. That's very much a, you're not supposed to be here, get the fuck out. Son of a bitch! Wish. Fuck's sake. Alright, lesson learned. Do not go near the blue shit. Take that. Ten feathers. 
I should, I just, I'm gonna have to start saving after every fight. Which is so fucking tedious. Although at least it's quick, I guess. So that should be 12. We should have enough feathers. But if we keep collecting them, we might get enough for uh, whatever the quest after that quest is. You know, we did say we're going to need more than a handful, which. Hmm. Fucking kidding me. Not a huge fan of the inventory system in this one. It's very uh, unuser friendly. <laughs> Though that could just be because I'm using a controller too. Wait a second. Use harpy traps. Right. I don't have any. any or do I have to okay I guess I have to get them from um, like a smith or something Bleed. Better lunge at her all at once. She's weakened. Not worth the risk. What are you doing here? We're mercenaries. Currently on King Hansel's pay. We were sent here on reconnaissance. Barely escaped with our lives from that mist of spectres. Now we're up against a furious she-troll. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. The White Wolf. We could use professional help, would you? Will you help us? I can't let you kill her. Since when does a monster slayer take their side? Pretty often, None actually. Of your business. I need her, and you need to leave. She killed two of my men. Walk away, and nobody else will get hurt. You won't help? Fine. Just don't disturb us. We'll manage ourselves. The troll needs to live. The troll will die. Then you'll have to kill me, too. In that case... Adieu, Witcher. Fuck's sake. Oh. Big smack. Maybe I should have taken some potions. Ooh, the lag's really bad whenever I look in a certain direction. <laughs> Must be something in the uh, gully or whatever. Wow, that actually doesn't last long, does it? Oh, 
This is a lot of people. <laughs> Uh, maybe if we get some more Hanged Man's Venom, maybe? Oh. That one could be good. Vran Armor Enhancement. Enough! We surrender! Throw down your arms, men! Spare us! Witcher! The king will pay our ransom! I'm not looking for a ransom. Leave the troll alone and go your way. You'll let us go? You can't return through the mist. It's certain death. The soldiers of fortune. We're not afraid of death. <laughs> Neither do we foolishly seek it. The Witcher's right. Commander! We were to find a Witcher! A bald one with a snake medallion. This one's white-haired with a wolf on his neck. You're looking for Letho. You know him? You could say that. I'm looking for him too. What do you know about him? Sheila de Tanzerville told us to search the ravines for this Letho. All we found was a camp strewn with dead Scoia'tael. This Letho was responsible for the bloodbath, and he did not act alone. Where was this? On the other side of the Wraith's Mist. What were you to do with him? Kill him, and anyone with him. Anyone? Are you sure? That was the order. Do you know where Letho is? Somewhere on the other side of this mist. We found a trail, but then the mist descended. We got lost, and emerged from it here. I advise you to surrender to the rebels. That would be new to me. I am Adam Pangrat, known as a dieu. You won't survive for long out here. They'll hang us. They know Ensilt hired us. Go to Cecil Burden. He'll treat you fairly. But don't count on him outbidding Henselt. Hear that, boys? Let's meet the Dragon Slayer. The Witcher claims we'll be safe and sound. Gather the wounded. Stop buggering and move out. <laughs> Hume's troll, see? To kill Hume's itchy would kill trolls, sure. You other. Good, you help. Troll, you help. If you want to help me, go back to your old man. No! Idget Hume redhead grope. <laughs> He's alone now. He misses you. Tell him! Too late! Know anything about the woman who is in your lair? Troll, no! Hume ugly! Hume stinks! <laughs> Return to your husband if you want to repay me. Troll don't want, but troll will. For you other, you good. Mrs. Bag, good! Troll like! Me back for Wisha asked. Stay away if Wisha not ask. Mrs. Wise. Idiot you. Hew me, woman grope. No more. Never again. Give me the bandana. Here, stupid old buck. Troll give horn. In danger, Wisha blow. Troll town. Cool. Thanks. I'll remember that. Now go to your mate. Maybe pick her some flowers first. Flowers? No! Flowers stench. Troll bring bird dung. Eject! What troll do in lair? Nothing. Me see. Stench! The stench will run. Go! Hew me stench. Oh, sleep no me. <laughs> Okay. 
Um, so is that all that we could do around this way, or was there... Um, I guess we'll go and give the feathers to that guy and then move on. Or go back to Philippa. We still need to talk to Cecil as well. Quite a bit of a fucking list here. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I've got your fa Wonderful! Excellent quality! Just what I needed! If you're in need of coin, just... I suppose I've had to work harder for coin in the- Excellent! 60 harpy feathers. Fuck. The medallion again. Yeah. So... Oh. That's weird. Um, we'll come back here, we'll go and get some harpy traps first though. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Philippa will be able to track Triss with the bandana I guess. And Cecil should be telling us about another artifact. Hopefully. I should probably... I can't remember where her house is, so... Let's go and talk to Cecil first, actually. Oh, hello. I thought we had a basilisk in the basement. Uh, harpy trap. I need seven. <laughs> Which means I need more silver ore. So it's really haunted now. So expensive. So we can get something called the Oathbreaker's Armor, which is, I mean, looks really good. Um, but so expensive too. So it gives us resistance to poisoning and maximizes our um, carry weight. But it doesn't have the same thing that we have. It doesn't have the um, it is. They should make it a life absorb. They truly believe in the afterlife after seeing that. So that's How do such places come to be? See, have some. We only need two more. So. Armor of Bannard. Lovely. Um, I know I left a bunch of it down in the mine just because I couldn't carry it anymore. Thought we had a basilisk in the basement. Or you'll have some. Gods above. I wouldn't mind.
Two, perfect. I wouldn't mind. Seriously? Sake. So what always happens, I just end up paying for materials. Because I always run out. He doesn't even carry any oil. Fuck's sake! Godspeed, Witcher! Yeah, he has some oil there. And a bunch of weapons. Which we will slowly meander up here and sell. Should have sold some of the other stuff actually. We've there's a lot to sell. And I think the weapon racks keep um respawning. Yeah, they do. <laughs> it's not a lot, but it helps. Definitely helps. I wouldn't mind. I didn't realize we had some trophies. I wouldn't mind it. There we go. All seven traps. Good, good, good. Fuck me. Uh, what about these trophies? I think I like to damage one more. Um. Okay. Go and talk to Cecil. I can't but imagine I've already looted a lot of this. Which means it's respawning as well. No. Because I just left it. Oh god. Bless me. <clears throat> Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philippa claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some, thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwini crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago, this land belonged to Kedwin. Lord of Crab, 700 years ago, the elves reigned here. And a million years ago, these lands were the domain of the worms. Mm. If things worked that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. <laughs> it wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Edernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them. 
but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen, a beautiful day that grew hot later, very hot. When van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent a dun banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dunbanner, but that was only the beginning. Seltkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kidwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Van de Grift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Van de Grift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes, there were no more friends and enemies, only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidwenny sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. Yikes. Remember anything from before the battle? As if it was yesterday. Henseld's troops crossed the Pontar the third day after the autumn equinox. Edon had good spies, so we were ready for them, and Selkirk lined up our troops along the hills. Our hearts rose at the sight of the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, and Gullet fluttering in the wind. Knights and armored infantry side by side in our ranks. Even the peasants had their regiments. The dwarves were on the left flank. Over 5,000 strong we were. Nobody caring about race or background like never before. Only King Demavend was missing, but he must have had more important business than defending his country. Hmm. You saw the Kidwenis cross the river? From afar. I saw Vandergriff leading 4,000 heavily armed men. Many a heart sank when we saw the elite bearheads or the armored banners from Ad Kareg. The Dun Banner was in the middle, veterans of Brenna. As soon as he set foot on Adernian land, Vandergrift climbed a hill and surveyed the area, as if it was his fief. Son of a bitch was as sure of himself as ever. Upon spying him, I remember the dwarves all dropped their trousers and showed him their asses. Then Selkirk stepped out in front of us. His white armor shone in the sun. We were afraid a kid when the would shoot him, but they too stood as if frozen. And Selkirk just looked at them and bowed ever so slightly. I don't know who Selkirk is. Just <laughs> trying to find a picture of him. They won't load. Never mind. Fuck's sake. Did you see the duel between Seltkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once at a jousting tournament in Ard Craig. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. <laughs> Selkirk was a true knight, the last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Saskia's got it. Good thing too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Not a single keepsake or Selkirk in the whole of Edon. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet, but he's a lying dog. Yikes. You captured the Dunbanner standard? Henselt's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths. Refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. 
Thanks, Cecil, that was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhard claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandegrift's sword stands for hatred. I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. So we've got... Hmm, actually, do I want to go and see Philippa just yet? Well, she we still need the rose, so that's fine. I do kind of want to do this first, though. Um, so we still have a chance to. I think that's hers up here. We might as well. I'll save it before we go in. You wanted to discuss something. Your friend Sheila is conniving with Henselt. I know this, Witcher, but it's no cause for concern. Sheila is there to ensure Henselt doesn't fall prey to the same people who killed Foltest. We don't want him as sovereign of the Pontar Valley, but we also don't need Kedwin to descend into civil war. Hmm. I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the Elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assume that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take hmm. some time. Have you learned anything else? Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. What's going on? Oops. The peasants want to take Pitchforks to King Demoven's son. Why? The Dragonslayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. <laughs> dogs growl at cats. Cats hiss at the dogs. A noble's a wolf to a peasant. Forget those animalistic similes and take care of it. I'll try to locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. Hmm. Philippa doesn't really care for um I need more time. Stennis either. <laughs> as you can tell. They say she is dead. They're stupid. She just fell unconscious. The commoners claim it's our prince. Serfs and lords will never be on the same side. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stennis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. What's stopping them? The knights. 
A journey in noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackguard. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vulgan. Are doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorveth! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord! I'll kill you all if need be! What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia. We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. <laughs> we don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rushed to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass. We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. <laughs> Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Who are I? Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Good. Done, Bloody bastard poison okay. the um. Where is come over the... here? This is nonsense. What would the prince gain with the virgin's death? I can tell you what he lost with a loaf. Where's the servant? Serfs <laughs> and lords will never be on the same side. Who will the witcher say? He's on very good terms with that damned elf. Maybe he has good intentions. After all, he defended the prince. Um. See what they did to her. I'll not waste my arrows on that. Greetings. Give us Say, this whole Witcher, power. come over here. Rolling down, you silly dog. Say, Witcher, come over here. What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. Well. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that... An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a... Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plow fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plow your fields. Hmm. This this is is your threats for your what would the prince gain with the virgin's woman? death? I could tell you what he lost with her life. Power. As I see it, every princeling likes to scheme. Guilt must be proven. Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. I'll grant you that, Reimster. Serfs and lords will never be on Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. No thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork. It is. Made it back in Mere Farragut's time. 
Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing, because they're steel. <laughs> My goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. <laughs> Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than an itch in her dad's britches. Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. Yeah. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Course not. Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I the lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! <laughs> I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. See you with... Humans only care how their asses rise as their stations do. They're right. playing into Henselt's hands. If they start okay. each other's throats, if not we'll for that damn the entire mic of Cadwin alone. Bloody hell, this is like... I heard... Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on! He's up here, okay. Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels for me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again. Hmm. Okay, so I guess that's a no in his case. They lie in wait for their lord and prince. I certainly hope Scalen can clean. See you, Governor. Called me Governor. <laughs> Gain with the virgin's death. Give us this I can tell you what he lost with her life. Dung, you Power. Surly dog. As I see it. Greeting. Anything change? Not really. The peasants keep. Guilt must be proved. It's good to see someone's taking vigilante justice. Throat. Um. Save your threats for your hog smelling woman. Why is he lingering about? Like the stent. Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pout. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who will manage. But he must be one of us lads. That way, he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal. Our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the... Get away with them. Well, wow. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. You know Saskia's servant? Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd mm. gladly get quartered for her. 
Where's this willy of yours? <laughs> Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Farewell. Give us this horn. All right, let's go and talk to him. Someone's taking care of it. Who will the witcher side with? They say someone cast a spell. There goes the should I say? I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused quite a commotion. Afraid of something? No, nothing. You're lying. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing. Don't know nothing. And didn't see nothing. Tell me everything you know about the attempt on Saskia's life. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody-goody, said the virgin, is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave, I speak the truth. What else did you hear? Tell me. Um, I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say, just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. Nobody will believe me anyway. Uh, find the priest's house. Okay. Okay. A plague of the worst kind. But, yeah. Uh, Cecil is back up here. I don't remember this being such a runaround. Although it's been a while. So. If not for that damned Yorvit, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince. Oh, say she is dead. You're stupid. She just fell unconscious. So he's, I guess, the priest is the one who got his. Head smashed against the, the stone at the start. I need to know where Reverend Olkin used to... Hmm. Simple. It's about right... How are things? See you, Governor. Okay, where is it? Um... Ah, uh, the fucking other end. Jesus. What's this? Clad in hues of green, amid shrubs he's seen. I got a serious career proposal yesterday. From one of your best lads, eh? Oh, is this one of the houses Obvious. we broke into? Do the gods favor Lady Saskia, as she claims? The gods never favor rebellions that seek to topple the throne. Strange aura. Nothing interesting. <laughs> The walls have ears. Well, that's very clearly <laughs> uh, Saskia's gauntlet. And I simply don't believe it. <sighs> Saskia believes them. They've bewitched her. <laughs> Oh, the eminent Philippa Eilhart. We'd best good. direct the monument to commemorate her visit. <laughs> Silly cunt thinks a hundred years. Gee, strong words. Wait for events to unfold. Okay, so I guess we just head back and see what happens. Hello, Witcher. Hello. I'm fairly convinced I know what happened. And I know what I've let happen, happen every playthrough. <laughs> So, if not for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. Change your tone when we the prince has Enough of this charade! Try to be reasonable, folks! Sit down and talk in peace! We've talked enough! 
Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his hovel! Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why. The mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stennis! Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stennis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stennis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lice-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the Virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene dumbhead the Prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stennis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stennis's leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince oh. Prince Stennis to join the conspiracy. Is Stennis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stennis's time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. It appears Stennis would benefit the most from Saskia's death. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. <laughs> what do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises his hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? 
I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. Hmm. See, I don't, I am a bit biased. I can't stand this dick. Uh, so, I think maybe a lynching is in order. You didn't say a word about your guilt or innocence. You demand justice. You want to summon a coven of the wise. But who will sit on that coven? Any peasants? No, only people you'll nominate yourself. Lords whom you'll reward with lands for reaching the right decision. Such men are to decide if you're guilty? No, you are guilty, Prince. You know you are. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> uh. Don't mind if I do. Take some of that royal blood. The nobles won't forgive them that. They're a cowardly lot. Yelping's all they're good at. And backstabbing. By Stennis's example. His filthy life wasn't taken in vain. Eilhart will get royal blood, and Saskia will be cured. We need to hurry. We can't keep peace in Vergen with strength alone. Anything's possible using strength. One just has to know how to use it. <laughs> That's your credo? Saskia's the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Henselt with this rabble. What do you intend to do? I'll get reinforcements. The Scoyatel are more numerous than you think. Time to summon them. I'll leave shortly. You won't get through the fog. I don't intend to. Mountains may stop human armies, but not the Scoyatel. I'm going south. Will you be back in time? I have to. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't lose hope. All right. Oh, I got his sword. locked okay um oh and i leveled up good we might go and do the harpy contract now because i don't know i think things kind of progress relatively quickly once you start handling in these things so we'll go and do that I had a dream. We were mining up at the face of the drive, like in the old days. <laughs> I'll say it again. Humans are strange. Let's hear it. Ugh. See, when they're to marry, they become... So I wonder if he can really prove all of that. I like to believe it's Stannis just because he's a dick. So maybe that makes me the bad guy. I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Oh no, no, no I haven't. Bit of a frickin' walk, jeez. Oh, better level up before I forget to. Oh, we've only leveled up three times, jeez. So I could get the helotrope sign. Whatever that is. Hmm. Oh, so we can mutate these ones. Uh, 
Cool. I would like to get this one too, though. Oh, f the sign intensity. I have to grab that when we get a chance. Master of Magic. I got achievement. Acquire sense of magic ability. Lovely. Oh, I guess we better put uh, the traps on our... And save it. I remember having a bit of trouble with this quest. Oh, fuck. Damn, you're ugly. Okay. Good. So there's that one gone. Uh, there's two, two gone. Don't know, can we just like kind of place them as we go and they'll take them where they need to go or do I actually have to be the near this? Vibrating. What is this? Oh, there we go, they just appear out of nowhere. A bit too overzealous there, I think. The medallion again. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with these. Looks like it does actually have to be... Pretty close. I can't see any other nests. I don't want to have to go and make any more either. So I'm going to take that. Yeah, there we go. No, they haven't taken it. Fuck. That's fine. So we can give them two more. Oh, I don't want to have to run all over the place looking for fucking nests, though. <sighs> so we got two at least. Guess they'll never learn.
Might just have to look up where the nests are. This is always fun. a lot of birds. Oh, there's a thing down. There's like a little doorway down there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I did save, didn't I? No one can see what happens. Can take it? No. So I guess there's none left around here. Fine. Good to know at least. Oh, it's getting a bit warm. Very warm. How many more can there be? My medallion. I guess we can see what's in here. Key required. Never mind. Guess we'll just keep our eyes high and see if we can see anything. That's all we can do. Looks like that one's been blown up already. One up there. Oh, key required. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's look up a map. I don't want to waste an hour just trying to find them. Oh, I see. Um, So I need to complete, oh, continue. All right. So I can't actually finish this until I get another, um, progress the quest. I need to get past that door. <sighs> How many, um, things that we got. Feathers, eight. Medallions vibrating. I'm just guessing you can push those rocks out of the way, maybe that's what that is. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> or not. I don't know. So, well, at least we've got four out of the way. That's four we don't have to worry about. I have to walk all the fucking way back to Uh, I guess we'll just go talk to Philippa straight up. I've got a couple quests for her anyway. And then we just need, after all this, we just need Triss's Rose of Remembrance. Um. Hmm. Which, if you've played this before, you know what that's about. You hugged a bear or what? <laughs> uh. Shame it's such a fucking walk to her house. Oh, a witcher. This place is, I think, a lot nicer to look at than Flotsam, but also takes a lot longer to get around. Oh, this is the wrong house. Wait. Oh, I fucking missed, messed it up again. Oh, I wasn't far off. So, you thought it over. I'm on my way to the recruiting station. I don't know. Geralt has a terrible habit of not knocking. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kidwani camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. There's no time to lose. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then. Oh, that elf lady just vanished, I guess? You wanted to discuss... You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. Luckily, I was hoping you. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod, but I dare say Alderman Burden knows. Okay. I didn't say that. Well, we know Saskia's. Um sword is magical but i guess we do just need like a well that no that's a symbol of hatred or whatever so we need an actual magical item saskia needs help cecil Philippa can produce an antidote, but she needs a magic artifact to do that. Would you like a fern and a dancing worm to go with it? Listen, I don't know about magic, but there is a place. Where exactly is that? 
Seek out the ruins in the forest beyond Bergen. There's a place of power there. You can't miss it. Why so glum? Saskia's a tough... Thanks, Cecil. No, Witcher. I thank you. Okay. Outside of town. Which way, though? Okay, so it's back. Um... Like towards the crypts where we went before. Fuck me. Doing nothing but walking around at the moment. Or I'll be back, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom.
Oh, sorry, I also went and got some of the drink because I ran out of coffee. So where are we going again? Oh. <laughs> What's this? Clad in hues of green, amid shrubs he's seen. Can I add something to eat? <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Um, I don't think we'll worry about getting any you, different armor either. Do you trust the girl? I think we'll just stick with this. The fact that it gives us health backs like enough for me. I don't want to lose that ability. It seems kind of stupidly helpful. So we'll just hang on to this. And I mean, it's not too weak. The other stuff's a little better, but the ability makes up for that. And plus, I don't want to spend like. Fucking 4,000 gold, which I don't have anyway. That's also a factor. Can I walk straight across here? Bloody harpies. Why did I take out my steel sword? <laughs> the fuck? Like a bouse. Oh, for fuck's sake, there we go. What are they doing out here? I thought they were supposed to be behind the fog. Not around here, annoying me. Right back where we started. Um, have to look for a way up somewhere and then jump across. I think, anyway. Do, I, do we go through here, maybe? No, it just takes me... Down. Um, Can't jump up there. For fuck's sake. Yeah, plant. Mm. So that little pile of rubble was glowing. It's usually a good sign for good stuff. 
Not in this case, though. So that's just that again. How the fuck do I get up here? Clearly missing something. Uh, let's over this way. Here we go. Guess we're playing leapfrog over the way. Hmm. That is a big jump. <laughs> What a beautiful animation, too. Oh, shit. Well, there's our adrenaline bar, I guess. That's what that is. What is that? A Selino Harpy? I don't know what that is. Other than dead. Bloody hell. I don't really know where we're supposed to get 60 of these feathers from. That seems like way too many. Magical item. Doesn't really seem you can't go in there. So uh, Junction of the Spheres, Wolf Spain. Doesn't really seem like there's anything else, so I guess we can go. Ugh. Whatever. I think actually this is the quest that lets us go and do the rest of the Harpy contract. Maybe. Twenty six friggin' degrees, and I feel like I'm dying. Also, my computer sounds like it's about to take off, which is always a good sign. Small child. That's not a shortcut. I thought, um. <sighs> I kind of feel like a, you know. I'm at like a, what do you call it? A mouse in a maze or a hamster in a maze or something? Except there's no cheese. Like I'm, I'm being fed a very repetitive task. 
of just walking about so I, so I know exactly where I'm supposed to be going. And yet it won't work because my sense of direction is non-existent. I don't know. What? So? Damn! Hello? What's with everyone being so nice today? Still in a towel. <laughs> or robe. You wanted to discuss something? I found one of the ingredients for Saskia's cure. Show me. Interesting. Getting warmer. But still not there. It's as if I'd sent you to get me the sun and you'd brought me a candle. We need something massive, an item of real power, Geralt. This is a dwarf's dream. Stolen and magically encased in this crystal, it would do if it were stronger. You know what this means? In addition to normal harpies, there are Solano in the area. Solano? Dream Snatchers. The only harpy species to develop something resembling intelligence. They magically bind dreams to mountain crystals. I heard they once inhabited this area. Solano live among regular harpies, but their lair should be full of stolen dreams. One of those would be powerful enough, I'm sure. You'd have to enter the harpy lair through the quarry. Unfortunately, the gate to the caves is locked and Cecil Burden won't open it. <laughs> I asked him on another occasion. Stubborn as a mule, that one. But we must not relent. Saskia clings to life by a thread. Let me show you the desire contained in this particular dream. Don't be hasty to judge. Mm. Yes, I can feel it. Whose dream is it? Cecil Burden's. Hmm. <laughs> In that case, I need to see the Alderman. Got a feeling he just might open the gate for me. Right, what's in the crystal though? Kind of, we've been excluded from knowing. What's this? Clad in hues of green. Some bit me. Oh. Hello, Cecil. Think you might have gone a bit too far with Stennis? Mummy spent too much time pampering him, so he thought he could do anything he pleased. Maybe it'll all blow over, or maybe there'll be another war. Hmm. I need to get inside the harpy lair. No chance. I know all about the harpies. They steal dreams, collect them. I found one, but it proved too weak for our purposes. I need a stronger one. So I'm asking you nicely. Open the damn gate. Mm -hmm. Listen, Witcher. I want Saskia to recover, I do. But don't ask me to turn this town into a circus just before we battle Hensalt. My grandfather locked that gate for a good reason. Imagine if we could all go in there to look at those dreams. Dwarves, peasants, their Scoia'tael, Adernian nobles even. All seeing the desires of others. Terrifying. It would be the end of Vergen. What's more, legend has it the oldest stolen dreams can become reality. And I don't want nightmares stalking Vergen's back alleyways come nightfall. Open it. I'll make it quick. Stop pissing me off. You're acting like a drunk suitor. No means no. You know, don't know if I should mention this, but the dream I found belongs to you. What are you talking about? It's an embarrassing affliction, I imagine. Hell, even something of a political liability in your case. Some might even call you a freak. You're the Alderman. An ages-old tradition is vested in you. On top of that, you now lead the preparations for Vergen's defense. You wouldn't dare. Imagine your ancestors carved in stone. Condemnation, not pride on their bearded faces. Who knows? Maybe you'd keep your office, but you'd be the talk of the town for ages. And your nephew? Poor kid. I'll open the gate. I promised Scalen's mother I'd be sober as a judge to the end of my days. And I aim to keep my word. I don't give a damn about ages-old traditions and piss on loose talk. But you're right. I cannot compromise Vergen's morale. You must bury this thing. This I do. Thanks, Cecil. And good luck staying sober. Right. So clearly had something to do with alcohol. <laughs> Beyond that, no idea. 
Now we've got to walk all the way back to the Harpy's Lair. Good. And annoyingly, there's only so much you can talk about walking the same fucking walk, uh, pathways. I had a dream. We were over and over. <laughs> I'm like barely. Don't try anything. Does this lead anywhere? Yeah, that was not in the right direction though. Ah, uh, some moment to I'm gonna have to go and drop some stuff off. I got a bunch of armor and things that I want to keep, but they're weighing me down. Look, another one. You let one human in, and in no time, you've got us. Like ants, they are. Can't talk to him about the succubus, it seems. I feel like that would be a kind of a conversation style. I'm sure that'll do. This place stinks of cheese milk. The peasants now refuse to shovel the earth. Hmm. Try anything. Thought we had a basilisk in the oh, basement. Yeah. Turns out. Let's go drink, friends. I'm gonna get as drunk as a lord. Why is that? They stole it. The plowing bird stole it. My dream is gone. And then what's the grin for? Night after night, I dreamed of my dead wife. For years. Let's go for some liquor. Drinks on me. Okay. Is that a good thing to have it stolen though? I feel like that's... Oh, unless it was like a nightmare, then... Probably best that it got stolen. Oh no, not that way. We cleared it all out so hopefully nothing respawns, which is good. How many feathers have we got? Probably not enough still. 27. Not even halfway. Jesus. Probably is a quest I could do without, but if it's a decent enough amount of coin, my control is getting worse. Can I not? I 
Don't have to walk all that way again. Well, before we do that, there's a chest up here. Can we open this? No, different key. Jesus. If we're lucky, we might get enough after this. Not feathers, that is. There's a miss. So we'll just put that down real quick. Damn monsters. One down, two to go. Is that the other one here? Oh, it's a dead guy. Excuse me. Fucking he comes. What are you doing? See a nest anywhere. Mm, I won't be surprised if we level up for all this. Wonder what we can use them for. Oh, geez. You fucker. Got me before the animation started. It's not fair. Oh god, the loads. Take so long. Fuck. Fantastic. How many more can there be? No. What uh, oils have we got? I haven't made any in a while. Uh, I don't know. If that'll be good for this. It's to humans. Maybe just Falker's blood? That'll do, right? Careful with these ones because they do apparently a lot more damage. Oh my god, and can take a lot more damage too. Jesus. Bloody 
fucking hell. I assume we'll be able to see them, right? I mean, it's not exactly the biggest area in the world. Take that. Oh, there's one just there. Some of them have money on them. <laughs> there we go, let that one take that. And then there's only one left. Is that there over there? No. Kerboom. That adrenaline does not go up very quickly, does it? It's taking an awfully long time. There it is. Good, finally. New ability, Birdman. Oh, uh, what? The fuck do you mean, Birdman? That's weird. That one's green. That's cool. Can I look at them? No. Nope. Hey, there we go, poison. It. And I'm carrying too much. Um, we don't really need this, do we? Kid Winnie leather armor. It's not very good. Well, compared to what we have, anyway. Oh jeez. Shit, you stink. Oh. Oof. That away for now, then I guess. Uh, let's try a cave frog. Oh, it's one of the stones.
the head of a king. Take it to Sheila. You know where. She'll give you coin and further orders. Heavy. How am I supposed to carry it through the forest? I won't be able to draw my sword. You'll go unarmed, in common clothes. Try to sneak through unnoticed, but if anyone asks, you'll bring in the witch some sausages. You can see it a mile away. And it stinks of vinegar. I'll have to find a thick sack. Go on. Quit complaining. There's no time. <laughs> it's like Sheila's in on it. Or Sheila, whatever her name is. There's another one. No one else here. The fuck? All right. I guess we're going to be watching a. Fair few frickin' dreams then. We picked up a couple of these stones. <sighs> no. Well that one was interesting. Hopefully they're all as interesting. Letho's dream. Oh, I see. Holy shit, that's a lot of Damn it. Oh god, that's a, a lot, lot of them. And they're also lying on our piece. Oh, we killed the Queen Harpy. Cool. Well, that one didn't seem any harder to kill than these other ones. Jesus. Luckily, they get stunned very easily. Fuck off, am I carrying too much weight? I got a sword called Harpy. How many feathers have I got? A hundred and one! <laughs> so that's more than enough. And 47 harpy trophies. Jesus. Um. Okay. Use project. Uh, silver crystal, I guess. By the gods, closer and closer. They'll not catch me. They'll not find it there, over my dead body. Horses. You'll never fathom Master Baltimore's secrets. It's not far now. Okay, Baltimore's dream. 
I guess they can get the dreams of dead people. Seems handy. You're as beautiful as an elf, my lady. Come to me, my hero. Let's fuck in the barn. Oh, the luck. To think I wanted to play dice with the others. Call them too. It'll be lovely. <laughs> Peasant's dream. <laughs> mm. Ah, the dragon's dream. Interesting. What could that mean? It's not really so much a dream projector or dream crystals as it is what has happened crystals. <laughs> No idea what he just said. Something very large just growled then. Find Baltimore's house in Vergen. Yeah, so we got a bunch of quests after that. Or a quest at least. Master Baltimore's secrets. I wonder what that's about. I don't... It might be pretty insignificant if I don't remember it. No, I don't need any more. so heavy. This fucking... I hate the fact that I take off my boots every single time. Christ. Who thought that was a good idea? Go away, not interested. Oh. Take that. I guess we'll just quickly check if I got a key for up here. I doubt it, I didn't see any, any key. Yeah. It's alright. I'm sure we'll get it in a bit. And we'll just have to come back here for the third time. <sighs> but we should get a pretty decent reward from Cecil. Some money, hopefully. Uh, for taking care of the contracts. Oh, and for this feather guy. 
More harpy feather. Good work! I gotta admit, that might have been the strangest job I've ever had. Well, it's hardly done. I'll hear you out, but I've got a bad feeling about this. I need a few more. Who is it that needs them? You or this collector? But he does, of course. Pretty suspicious. Why didn't you tell me how many I was supposed to bring right off? I... I needed to see the... Let me think about it. I've got some more feathers. Sleek and untattered. I hope that'll do it. I look at them and select the finers. There's your... What am I supposed to do with the ones I have left? Whatever you wish. Hmm. Visit him later. Okay. Where are you headed? Well, I guess we'll meditate and just see what this is. <laughs> I don't know how long we're supposed to wait, but... Where are you headed? Longer than that, I guess we have to do some quests. There's a couple more here from them before. Okay. Once we get back, we'll have to sell a bunch of stuff too. I have like 47 harpy trophies, which I don't need. I'll keep one, but that's all we need. And then I'll just go straight into the storage box. Oh, excuse me. And of course, no one's here. Oh, here we go, he's here. of these feathers do we have? Because we don't need all of them. And we certainly don't need that many claws. Oh, they're fine. I didn't actually mean to sell 30 of them, I meant to keep 30 of them. But that's fine. <laughs> Greetings. So Cecil first and Philippa. It's just like one big fetch quest. I'm not having a great time. Oh, um, it'll be good when this is over. Like I mean, as in we move on to the next stage. Oh god, he's here, jeez. Were you looking to get rid of the harpy? I the f I've destroyed their nests. They won't be returning anytime soon. That's what I want to hear. Job done. I'm here for my pay. You killed the harpy queen. 
Oh, is that it? See you, <laughs> Governor. Okay, done. Save that. Can't imagine we got much for that, seeing as how the quest for the nests was only 50 gold. Orange, sorry. Same difference. You wanted to discuss something. I found a stolen dream. It seems powerful. I think it's a dragon's dream. Excellent. That should do nicely. Come back and see me when you have the remaining ingredients. Okay. And the last one is to find Triss. Poor fuck, is it? Um... Oh yeah, find Baltimore's house. Is it literally not going to tell me? Is this it here? The place is busy like never before. The place is busy like never before. <laughs> Truly interesting. <sighs> There's a lot of doors in this place. That's not Baltimore's house. Um, this might be it here. Looking for a dwarf by the name of Baltimore. Does he live here? Master Baltimore vanished some time ago. Who was Master Baltimore? He was our runesmith, the greatest specialist the world has ever seen. A lot of water has flowed down upon Tar since he disappeared. Yet me and my apprentices still can't recreate all the runes he could inscribe. Who lives here now? Yours truly. As Baltimore's best apprentice, I became the new runesmith. Got this house, along with the honor of continuing the great master's work. Can you tell me something about that moldy door? That's the entrance to Baltimore's old workshop. Mind if I take a look? Not at all. Only you won't find anything but scrap metal and cob. Mm -hmm. Welcome, I, I have a few. Ask him. How? One day he just up and disappeared. He had his feet. After a month-long search, we held a funeral. With Is that all? Baltimore's best apprentice. <laughs> no more. If you do say so yourself, I guess. Maybe he killed him. Why would you not use the old workshop? This seems better than the one outside. Except just covered in cobwebs. Oh, I wonder if we can knock that <laughs> down. Jesus. Baltimore's directions, Baltimore's keys. Well, I think we know where this goes. It's the chest in the quarry, I'm pretty sure. So back we go. I heard the rumble, Witcher. Everything all right? Yeah, just some rubble. Find anything? Not a thing. Poor Baltimore lost his mind before his death and must have destroyed all his notes. Why are you so sure he's dead? You didn't find a body. Maybe he just departed. Well, if he departed, he's as good as dead to us. A decent dwarf don't leave his settlement. Tell me, why are you so interested in Baltimore? Curiosity, nothing. Curiosity can be dangerous. It's led many a man astray. Are you threatening me? On the contrary. It's more of a warning. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. Guess we better raid it just in case. Okay, uh, so, oh, it's pouring with rain! It is the one in the quarry, I thought, so. Uh, uh, oh, fuck, I'm right there. I just looked it up to make doubly sure. Oh, this is no way at all. Is this the first time it's, time it's rained? Here, at least, anyway. Looks good. Uh, actually, where is the Triss thing, too? It is actually still kind of along the way, so we'll we'll do that um, after we get the chest key. Chest, sorry. Use the key. <laughs> All this running around is making me go crazy. I've got some... I might just have to take apart my controller and see what's what's causing it. Uh, but I've got some, like... Ah, uh, what do you call them? Control freak controller thingies. Um, controller joystick thingamabobs. I got some of them just to, like fix up my things a bit so hopefully that'll fix this if not I have the stuff to take it apart because I don't want to buy a new one they're kind of expensive I think this one was $80 this one came with the adapter to plug into the computer but still I wanted to get one of those custom ones uh, that you can get off their website, or at least you used to be able to. I don't know if you still can. Uh, but they never shipped to Australia, which sucked. They're going to follow me up here, aren't they? Oh no, they're giving up. Oh. Uh, where was the shipwreck? My medallion. 
Uh, it's just the rocks. What? What is with these rocks? Um. Was that this way? It was back up there, wasn't it? Okay, so there was apparently something we missed there. I'm not too bothered about killing them, we've already killed enough uh, to get like hundreds of feathers. Speaking of which, I wonder if this guy's in. His, if his quest is ready. Yes, you're beautiful, my queen, my lady. You're a wondrous sight. <laughs> All in your nest envy you. <laughs> Hope I'm not interrupting. <laughs> I want you to have this feather. I have no use for it. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, neither do I. Uh, neither does this collector, you mean? Yes, yes. Uh, neither does he. I wonder why he needed a specific number of feathers. Perhaps to match the number of empty spaces in his feather album. Don't see how that would matter. It's immensely important! Well, I guess I don't know much about collections. <laughs> Pretty warm for this time of year. It is colder usually, isn't it? <clears throat> the mages must be up to something. Oh yes, they devise with experiments. Always changing the world. They'll botch it one day and it'll be the end of us, I tell you. I shudder to even think about it. Right. <laughs> Well, that was disturbing. Um, although, I don't remember the harpies being yellow. Did he dye them or something? All my hard work just to have it dyed. Right, there's the trolls. Hello, can I talk to you at all? Don't be, but could I love no. Me think, bother not. <laughs> Okay. Oh, get out of it. Do I go in the right way? Yes, here we go. Ta da! There's a door behind here. It's a big old workshop, by the look of it. Or library, maybe? Beaver's. Beaver Cat Baltimore's Notes. I knew you were hiding something from me, Witcher. I wasn't the only one to hide something. Baltimore's notes state that the Master will return from the grave to meet with you. Nobody returned from where we sent him. <laughs> you just admitted to murder. Aye, but what of it? No one beside you knows, and you'll not leave here alive. Get him, lads! Oh, no. Oh, jeez. They actually don't hit that hard. But they do kind of have me trapped here. Glindy. <laughs> there we go. Oh shit.
Bloody hell, he has a lot of health. Ooh, lots of meteorites. Find lock compatible with Thorax key, which I'm guessing will be in his house. So what did we get? We got a beaver cap. <laughs> Elthon's trophy. <laughs> he gave us the, the beak of his costume. It's nice of him. Alright, yeah, that was literally it. That seems like a long way to come for not a whole lot. So as I say, no, I can't imagine it is. I, I've, and a bright well, yellow one at that. I feel like that's a good way to get yourself eaten uh, rather quickly. <laughs> Although maybe that's his like, that's his goal. Maybe he wants to get to get get eaten. Although it seems he might have a bit of a. Uh, Harpy fetish <laughs> might be the more accurate thing. But you know, each their own. Each their own. <laughs> I just love the. Nice weather we're having, hey. Such an awkward conversation. Although, Geralt's never really awkward, is he? He's kind of just very stern. Alright, we're gonna do... Put the fucking sword away. Didn't even realise we had it out. Alright, we'll do this thing with... Four. Uh, Triss. There she is. Guess they'll never learn. Maybe, maybe he he feels like a harpy at heart. Oh god, I'm hoping this one isn't quite as long as the previous one. Oh, I guess that's why he lives so close to the quarry, too, because that's where the queen was. I have a feeling we're about to get a bunch more quests, too. I don't know how I feel about that. die. <laughs> I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence... How will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry!
Okay. Save. <laughs> Is that a fucking bounty board? Oh! Seems I'm a wanted man. Again. Oh. So is Saskia and so is Yorvis. I mean it makes sense. <laughs> nice crotch shot of Geralt there. I knew it. Damn, I knew it was you. When the mist started whirling, I told the boys it's Geralt of Rivia, or well, my name isn't Vernon Roach. Friend of yours? Just found him. He was already dead. Interesting. Dressed like a Vergeni. You almost made it through the fog. What's your business here? Triss is somewhere nearby. Still looking for your sorceress. If she came here, I'd know about it. In that case, you either know nothing, or you're lying. Plow yourself, son of a bitch. I owe you nothing. You made your choice. Fled with the elves while Vess almost died at that horse in Laredo's house. Is Vess all right? What do you care? We could have all died while you played at being a squirrel. <laughs> I refuse to explain myself, to you or anyone else. You saved a group of thieves and bandits. Deride them if you will, but they're ready to die side by side with the simple people of Vergen. They've got better reasons to fight than orders. Don't you care about Voltaire's death anymore? The assassin kidnapped Triss, remember? Help me find her and I promise I'll keep the word I gave you in the dungeons of Lavalette Castle. Ah, <sighs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. If Triss is anywhere in the area, it can only be one place. At the rear. Near the riverbank, the Nilfgaardians have set up their camp. Nobody can enter it. You can get there either via some caves or by sneaking through the main camp. I'd forget the gates. Believe it or not, the whorehouse is where you need to go to enter the caves. The ladies thought they'd use that passage to service the knights and nobles, but some monsters have their lairs there. <laughs> if you've had your fill of whores and monsters, to the east there's a path that leads along the riverbank. That'll get you near the canteen. You'll have to sneak the rest of the way from there. Mm. Thanks, Roach. Hey, I'll hold you to your promise. Sneaking doesn't really <laughs> seem like the best option. Um, just seeing how the stealth is terrible in this game. So I think this is where the uh, lady's tent is. What do you mean you're too old? <laughs> what the hell? They were right about the monsters. Jesus. Oh, we can burn the corpses. Really? What am I carrying now? Okay, so we can burn them and get rid of them? The necrophages? Maybe? That'd be good. Oh, literally just dropped that and then I pitched, picked it up again. Pitched it up again.
Is that the only... Get rid of that. And the leather. We don't need it. Don't pick it up again. Jesus. Oh, there's some vendors I here too. I the Nilf Guardians a few years back. Now we make camp with the Black Ones. Hello. That's politics. What's it to us? We should have our sea. Take a Well, well, a witcher. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? <laughs> I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation. But it'll cost you just as much as a good plough. Ask away, then. What would you like to talk about? Anything interesting going on in the camp? Soldiers are scared shitless, what with this battle approaching. They'd rather drink themselves silly than let us honest whores make some coin. Is that interesting? I doubt it. <laughs> Not raring to fight, are they? They might have been eager at first. But the longer we sit here, the less lively they become. Fighting's like ploughing. Lust for one, and you lust for the other. Right. Well, how? I want... We're not... Sa Ask away. What would you like? I need to get inside the camp. Unnoticed. That'll cost you more than straight ploughing. Jesus, how much am I supposed to pay them? Hundred do? This is the slowest goddamn thing on the planet. Jesus. That's nowhere near in. I need to get inside. That will cost. Sake. What we? Heard of the Virgin of Edern? Hasn't everyone? Any thoughts? Oh yes, a maturing woman like that never been ploughed. Her head's bound to be muddled. We'll have peace when she drops her sword to grab a nice healthy prick instead. Jesus. Fucking hell. <laughs> are there trolls here? Why can't I? Hey, there are. And you don't mind. What's so strange about that? Pretty oh. please. Greetings, Haggard. I can't use the vendors. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. Well, how? I want. We're. So. Ah, what would you. I wouldn't mind knowing what you think of Hensel. I'm a madam. What can I know about the king? I seem to remember that madams and innkeepers know everything. <laughs> he used to come here to plough, to develop a camaraderie with the fighting men like. But that was just a phase. Most likely only ploughs sweet smelling ladies now. <laughs> well, I wanted to... We're... So, ah, what would... I need... That... Oh, for fuck's sake. It's gonna take forever. We'll go 200, see if that's enough. Or we might die of old age before we get to that number. This seems like a lot. <sighs> that's nowhere near. I need to get it. That'll cost. How much to bribe the madam? <laughs> Minimum of five hundred. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good. Five hundred. Hmm. That seems satisfactory. We've an underground passageway leading out to the river. I don't know how I did that either. Confines. Thanks. Although we've not used it for some time. 
There's something down there. I'm sure I'll man it. The entrance is inside the tent. Lovely. Not this tent, then. Greetings, handsome. Oh, yes, this tent. Oh, look, 500 orns in that chest. That would have been lucky. Of course. Um. Oh, down again. Okay. That's a big boy. Wonder how many more will turn up. Jesus. Okay. Bulvar brain. Ew. Hmm. Are you serious? Fuck me. We don't have any... fuck. Uh, let's see if we can make some necrophage oil. No. Guess just some focus blood, maybe. Arachnid oil seems fine, but it didn't really do much. Oh. Oh, I saved it. <laughs> After I killed the thing. It's not like me. Oh, I got some of our orange back. Jeez, 176. Most we've found so far. Get down. How many more can there be?
What do you got? Nothing worth grabbing. Don't need any more iron ore, for God's sake. I would use the cat potion, but we can't really afford to be losing any damage at the moment. I mean, it's bright enough, right? Not by much, but still. Fucking hell, there's a lot of them. Oh, jeez. Fucking Christ. You'd think I would never forget the fact that they explode, but I do all the time. Oh, jeez. Oh, did I go the wrong way? No, this is just like a break. <laughs> Shit, you stink. Leads. Oh, to a ship. With the chest, I can't get anything from. Well, fuck's sake. Go, oh, jeez. So I think all games should have uh, jump buttons. FK Nordling, where do you think you're going? To see the ambassador. With all that steel on your back? I'm not looking for trouble. Shillard Fitz Estelin is waiting. Mednara Ravnavad, Hetna. Hmm. Geralt, I'd hoped we wouldn't meet again. We caught him sneaking through the camp, Excellency. We disarmed him. Esther Garimnith. I remember you telling Faltas you'd like to return to hunting monsters. Triss Marigold was kidnapped. Faltas's advisor. I heard she arrived at Vergen and hoped we would meet. But if she was kidnapped... Now I understand why you couldn't just stand by. But there are other reasons, too. They told me you were in league with the Skoetel, with Jorvath himself, no less. Is this true? More or less. Have you heard of the slaughter of Enshe at the ravine of the Hydra? The kings of the north effectively forced the Empire to condemn and execute the war criminals of the Vryhead Brigade. Jorvath was among those condemned. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of cold water, and another victim of the hunt. An 11 year old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. 
February 24th, 1270, the High Pass in the Ormush Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. <laughs> May 30th, 1270, the Uruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals, all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. Amusing that the Skyatel believed the Emperor betrayed them. In fact, the kings of the north demanded the massacre at the ravine of the Hydra. Do you feel well? I feel fine. I'm sorry. I can't give you more of my time. The long road to Loch Muin awaits me. The Council and the Conclave are waiting, and Triss Merigold, as always, arrives in the nick of time. What are you talking about? The figurine. He must have it on him. What's the meaning of this? I want to introduce someone to you. This is Vandemar, my personal sorcerer. He sensed Triss approaching our camp, though she was to arrive in different company. Oh shit! She's little! <laughs> Before you die, Witcher, would you be so kind as to explain how you got your hands on this figurine? I found it on a man's corpse. And you finished his mission for the Emperor's glory. Triss will help us find those wenches that betrayed the Empire. I don't know whether you killed Tavik or found him dead, it's irrelevant now. I'd prefer not to sentence to death a man previously pardoned by the Emperor himself. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no choice. Vanamar, once you're done with him, convey my congratulations to Cynthia. Leading Philippa Eilhart up the garden path is no small feat. Farewell, witch. Well. There's a boat. This is a good place. Are you ready, Geralt of Rivia? I am. I prefer to face you in combat, but that cannot be arranged. Oh, 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 what a shot. That's twice Roach has saved me now. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm gonna put that on before I start to lose a shit ton of health. It's very fucking annoying. Um. On new guard! Oh, but we still have the potions and stuff on. Huh? 
Oh, are we about to kill an entire Nilfgaardian camp? That seems something like only we could do in Witcher 3. That shield is very annoying. Oh, I guess I can't take it until he's dealt with. Jeez. Just like the good old days, having killed an elf guardian for years. <laughs> I knew you'd get in trouble. Shillard has Triss. He's taking her to Loch Muin. Now I understand the commotion. Ambassador Shillard kidnaps Foltest's former advisor. This stings horribly, Geralt. Mm -hmm. It would seem the Nilf Guardians want to be present at the Conclave's restoration. Only Triss can lead us to the Kingslayer. I need to save her. Not only her, Geralt. All the other leads point to the same place. Sheila managed to locate the killer's hideout. They were hiding nearby in the gullies. Deathmold sent his men there, but Foltest's killer fled. Two other witches were covering him. One was taken alive. Before he died from torture, he revealed that our bruiser went to Loch Muin. The mages want to resurrect the council and the conclave that once represented all the sorcerers and sorceresses of the north. King Radovid, the ruler of Redania, is also invited. As Loch Muin lies in Kedwin, Hensalt is likely to arrive too. But a Nilfgaardian delegation. Triss, Nilfgaard, Radovid, a bunch of mages and the Kingslayer. Too many eggs in that basket. One more thing, Roach. I have to go back to Vergen. Philippa may know something more about Triss. It won't be easy. The camp's in uproar. I bet you mauled somebody while breaking through to Shillard. Could be. Right. We'll pretend you're my prisoner. I'll get you out of here, but remember, our goal is Foltest Killer. I'll remember, Roach. So, ready? Let's go, Roach. I bet Perky sure Silver work. killed a son if of a just bitch. Just avoid the officers. In the face! Bloody idiots! Hit him in the face! How many you. times have I told you? His Highness wants you ready to fight in any moment. And that means you don't get arsehole. In the face! <laughs> Hit him Foster, in the face! Cur. Footman Glenn was stunned as an intruder what in the, the camp. Then fight him! Come. Or you feel my boot up your ass? Oof. Okay, well. I, don't, I feel like three hours wouldn't be enough to kill Geralt. I'm not sure it'll work. If we just avoid the officers. I bet 30 silver killed Bloody a son idiots. of a bitch. Foster, How many times have I told you? His Highness wants you ready to fight in any moment. And that means you don't get our Look out! Every day. Don't get too close to him! When Glenn was stunned, there's an intruder in the camp. Then find him, or you'll feel my boot up your ass. What the? Yikes, the range on that's kind of long. 
Really? <sighs> That's a lot of auto saves. <laughs> I'm not sure it'll work. If we just avoid the officers. Bloody idiots! Look out! How many times Don't get have too I told close, you? Faster, it's Kerr. Just once you're ready to fight in any moment, and that means you don't get arsehole every day. In the face! Hit Fucking him in the face! Go on, you. Him. Then find him, or you'll feel my boot up your ass. I bet thirty silver killed a son of a Faster, bitch. Faster, Kerr. Yeah. What a pain! Go on, you. I can't move any faster either. Ugh. I bet 30 silver killed a son of a faster, bitch. Faster, Kerr. Who goes there? Vernon Roach. I've got a prisoner. What kind of freak is he? The king ordered him questioned outside the camp. Outside, eh? <laughs> Oh, don't let me keep you then. <laughs> we should be safe here. What an idiot. Thanks for everything, Vernon. I owe you. You never cease to owe me. Remember my proposal. Time to leave. Life can be really strange. I fought the Nilf Guardians a few years back. Now we make with the black ones. That's um. politics. What's it to us? We should Boring. Whoa! Didn't have anyone like you in our village. Hmm. <gasps> Bubby. Right. Time for us to leave now. Finally, you're back. Where is Triss? The Nilf Guardians have taken her to Loch Muin. What? They cast a spell on her, turned her into a figurine. Artifact compression. They must have a powerful mage. They had. Hmm. Without him, Shillard won't be able to lift the spell. However, Loch Muin will be full of sorcerers. That's not all. They got Triss because of Cynthia. Cynthia? She lied to you. Back to Vergen at once. Uh -oh. Well, we'll. Uh, I guess we'll get back across. Oh shit! And then we'll call it. It's getting. Take that. Very hot, and I don't. My unfortunately, my patience is kind of running thin with this game. Not so much running thin, but I'm just like, there's a lot of running around. <laughs> Only so much of it I can take. I'm going for like nearly five hours anyway. So, um, I'll see if I can do a bit of a like extra long one tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Just because I did miss three, but I'm also sitting here. Sweating. <laughs> it's very warm today. Oh, hang on. Let me just. Give me. Oh, what's going on? What did you stop for? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit!
<sighs> hey. Oh, sorry. I should probably put that away. <laughs> Oh, did something come through? Bunch of wraiths and stuff. Wonder how many more will turn out. Oh shit. You're welcome. Though most of you just sat there and did absolutely nothing. So, how do we get... Oh, I've forgotten pretty much what happens now. I'm sorry, I'm leaning a bit. Let's move this over here. <sighs> oh, actually, i got to check my... emails. Hmm. It might be. So what I'll do, probably just chuck this on again, like a rerun of this, after we've finished, just so there's something going during the normal time. The plague. I was so foolish. Cherish this rare moment, Witcher. Philippa Eilhart's been had by a cheap Nilfgaardian bitch. <laughs> when I find her, we'll have it out like never before. She'll regret her mother didn't abort her. Wait. Oof. The Rose of Remembrance is gone. Not necessarily. That viper, Cynthia, was in a hurry and left her bric-a-brac. Ah, yes. Here it is. Triss Merigold's Rose of Remembrance. Time is running out, Geralt. That was easy. This flower is dying. Then what are we waiting for? Items collected negotiator. Is that a weapon? Yes, it is. All right, I guess we'll leave it there for tonight. Um. So, yeah, like I said, I'll chuck this back on as a rerun after we're done, but that's uh, up to you whether to watch it again. <laughs> so um, thank you to Mr. Gunny for the host earlier. Appreciate it. Uh, and I'll be back tomorrow with New Vegas or Metro. One of those two. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. it means a lot. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day all night whichever it is and i will see you when i see you okay bye bye